Hey guys, Wallet for Games here for you, and today I'm going to show you something that's super easy to do, but I'm going to make it even simpler for you if you're just starting out in the Bob Ross technique. It's how to put in a basic sky when you're getting started on your landscape paintings. Let's get started. To speed up the process, I already went ahead and put on my liquid white there. Just a nice even coat will do. From here, Bob would normally have you use a 2 inch brush to put in the basic sky. But this can be difficult for beginners, so I recommend a 1 inch brush. Dip it in some phthalo blue, giving it a nice light coat across all the bristles. And apply a small crisscross stroke on the top of the canvas and slowly work your way down. A little paint goes very, very far. We can always add more, but it's really hard to take away. So just start with a little bit of paint. From there, we're going to take our 2 inch brush and start blending with bigger cross strokes going from the top of the canvas down towards the horizon line. This will create a natural gradient since the magic white is already on the canvas underneath. This will give you a nice natural looking horizon line. And it's as simple as that. Now if you even wanted to add more depth, you can add a little more blue or even darker color to the corners. This will create a natural vignette, and this is also a great time to add more color if you want to create even depth just throughout the whole painting. Just repeat the same process with the 1 inch brush and the 2 inch brush, making sure to blend and pull the color down towards the horizon line. That's all you need to do. Pretty simple, right? But what if you wanted to add color to the painting? Well, let's flip our canvas over, and let me show you how to add just a little bit of color so that way you can add even more depth to your painting. It's the same process, but this time we're going to leave more gaps of white so this way we can introduce color. Again, let's take our 1 inch brush and we're going to do our small cross strokes on the painting, but we're going to leave more gaps here. Just leave some spaces of which way you think color would flow throughout your painting. There is no wrong way to do this, and if you don't like something that you did, hey, you can always cover it up with a cloud or mountain. Let's blend in with our two inch brush, making sure to still leave our white gaps there. Once we've got it blended in the way that we like it, nice and velvety, and pulled all that color down to the horizon line to create that natural gradient, let's take our one inch brush, we're gonna leave it dirty, and dip it into some alizarin crimson, and we're gonna make a nice dark violet color here to go into the middle of these white sections. Get a nice even distribution across our one inch brush and again start doing little cross strokes into the white gaps making sure to leave a border of white between your blue and your violet color. This will add some characteristic and depth and a natural haze look to your sky. Once you have your one inch brush all colored in there on those white spots we're going to take our two inch brush and just only blend in the violet parts themselves. Do bigger cross strokes, but making sure to leave that white gap space between the violet and the blue. Once everything's colored in, all we do is go back and forth across the whole canvas lightly to work out the brush strokes, and there you go. We've got a canvas with some beautiful color in there, ready for some happy clouds and some almighty mountains. Hopefully this helped. This video is sponsored by Flaredash, an online marketplace for streamers and content creators looking to expand their brand. Simply load your designs, logos, or artwork and start selling while you stream. Flaredash has unique streamer features like in-stream alerts, promotional overlays, merchandise giveaway tool, and more. Sell your stream today with Flaredash.com.